YouTube, I didn't know you were there. How's it going? Um, August Hunnicky, and this is my daughter Hannah Hunnicky, and her friend Capriel. They are here on a break from college, very close to uh, getting bachelor's degrees in history and in history and economics in Capriel's world. So here we are at the <laughs> Saw King shop in Myrtle Creek, Oregon, where I'm going to go talk to him about an imposter steal and a couple other things and maybe get a jacket for this person who was unprepared but <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but uh yeah i thought you might want to hear what rich has to say about this subject of imposter steel chainsaws and then i'm i'm gonna throw this video up for you guys and, and we're gonna move on with our lives T tell me how you how you got this in your well the guy bought it to cut some slabs and he it's been here about every day that he bought it it's uh just a clone real poor quality look at the mud flap chip flap looks like something out of a shower curtain yeah it's just really really cheesy the <laughs> starter is the same way i took the starter off took a peek in here and it's just we always talk about high quality well this is uh low quality i don't know really why anyone anyone would want to buy something so like this, this is an 090 clone yes you can see the starter paw is just made out of looks like pot metal pot metal yeah real poor super poor oh wow but anyway okay. i wanted to take it out of commission so i traded him a chainsaw for it and just so, to, uh, show the guys what they are uh, what they're getting so so rich um took one for the team by taking this one out of the yeah don't tell anybody anywhere that i've got one of these <laughs> Yeah, and it's definitely not for wood cutting. No, it'll never, uh, never see that again. Okay. No, no, no. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah the I've seen the that. Batman. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, so we've looked at an imposter and we give it a thumbs down. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else we got to cover? No, this is Travis's uh, SDM4 he picked up. <laughs> hmm and uh it just wouldn't grind when he got it the guy had just you can see where he, the previous owner just hammered with a hammer he had this all yeah fatty wampus it was just in horrible shape uh got it all back cutting like it should just a super nice sdm4 nice beautiful right on yeah i'm just, i'm still i'm probably hand file until i do you have one or not? You got a desk? I had one. I, ha I had one and I sold it. And I'm not going to tell you for how much because I was going through some struggle at the time and so I let a lot of things go for real cheap. Well, you know, yeah. they're, you know they were built not too terribly far from you down there and they were mm -hmm. got to be a lot of them in barns that people don't even know what they got. I yeah. Mean, it's just the most highly sought after grinder there ever was. This is an interesting... Uh, That's a, one of those saws, if you can start it, you can run it. It has just got some super compression. Uh, I built up for a guy. Cool. All right, well, maybe we're wrapping it up. What'd you right. do, what did you do for uh, Jeff? A couple things. On one of his, uh, we did quite a bit of uh, some work, uh, not to be used for any type of woodcutting work type of thing. where you. Oh, I see. Uh, hang it on a wall. Okay. And... Uh, Got it running really, really, really good. And then, uh, bad saw there. This is my saw. A display saw. Oh, yeah, yeah. It has a quarter pitch chain on it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around with it. This isn't really a recommendation for anybody. Mm -hmm. Like we wouldn't, we wouldn't say go out and do this. This is experimentation for fun for. For August Hunnicky in the third person when he likes to experiment. Okay, so we're done with that subject. Thanks, Rich. You this bet. is this is the Corona, the Corona. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the Billy Ray section. Yeah, yeah. This one's kind of unique. This one has number thirteen on it. It was sold Huffman and Wright. I sold it back in nineteen seventy-eight to Huffman and Wright in Canyonville, and it made its way back to me. From California. So you engraved it? Yep, I engraved it. Yep, 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 yep. There's my famous 
his hand right there, my grinding <laughs> abilities there. Interesting. Yeah, it's just amazing to get it. And then a Super Pro 81, I always love those saws too. They're super good. Super Pro 81. Super Wiz. We got the Super Wiz Home Light. David Bradley. This is a unique one. This has uh, got the uh, Chrysler Racing engine in it. Back in the day, quite the engine. I had an old saw one time that the bar turned. Yep, 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 yep. Pivots. And it wouldn't run on its side, so they decided to turn the bar. Yep. Is that right? That's correct. They were yeah. a float carburetor, just like on a car, and they couldn't run on their side. Yeah. Way before the diaphragms came around. This, H, this HL carburetor right here, this is what changed the world right here. Uh, Tilson. It looks light. They didn't go nuts on the paint, did they? No, no. It's really unique on this. You can change the bar from inside to outside. For whatever reason, back then, you could take the studs out. The studs are already here. Change the clutch, put the bar on this side for whatever, oh, whatever interesting. reason. Oh, yeah. interesting. It was just one of those things. For some reason, I can't think of a reason. I can't either. Well, right? you could get a lower stump cut with, with it that way. Yeah, I've seen guys, just for fun, put two bars on them. You can't put the clutch on and put another bar and chain on there, and you can... <laughs> you cut some <laughs> little pieces of wood. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Anyways. Thanks for showing me yeah, around. you bet, you bet. It's always good to see you. Fun at the... Fun at the Myrtle Creek Saw Shop. See you guys. Later. Yeah! <laughs> I'll show you guys uh, at least one cut here. This is a quarter pitch chain from Panther in the UK. Uh, I like the Panther chain better than the steel chain because the quarter pitch steel chain that I get has drivers. Um, extra the safety chain they call it the homeowner stuff I've not found it where it was pro chain so this is quarter pitch pro chain has less uh, resistance you know it only has the <laughs> breakers you need instead of that extra stuff so I, I see a big difference in the way the panther chain cuts compared to the anti kickback a uh, quarter pitch steel homeowner chain. Um, this is a Panther bar, obviously. Uh, this is a 20 inch bar. And it's just an experiment. And this is a little teaser. I'll use it in a, in a job, in a tree at some point. But we're going to both see it for the first time right now. By both, I mean you. On YouTube and me we're gonna see what her what it cuts like this is a modified 200 T this this saw's got some serious poop to it um, it's a screamer so uh, let's see what it cuts like with the quarter pitch chain cuz I always wanted to know see that it's having no trouble throwing the quarter pitch chain around the extra bar length and that was the idea I had was that um, yes it's longer but it's all lighter duty stuff and a high performance 200 T ought to be able to throw so this is just this is just so when you're up a tree, you can wait a little longer before you call for a bigger saw. That's it, that's the idea. And I can't really endorse anybody do this, and I don't know if you could find anybody to set it up for you, because it takes a little bit of changeover to make it happen. But I like to experiment, and um, I'm looking forward to trying this out in a tree. And I think that's about all we were gonna say right now. Look for more on this later. One thing I wanted to mention about the quarter pitch, kind of a drawback, is the quarter pitch chain, you know, it's all lighter duty like I was saying. I have broke a few chains. The, the chains break easier. So that's a drawback. 
but it's sure neat to have you know less resistance less less kerf less drag on the motor on the chain on everything so you go through the wood faster it's it's pretty cool it's kind of fun and in the northwest in the tall trees a lot of our work not that i'm doing it much anymore but has been in my career chunking down really stratospherically tall stuff and you don't want to pull the saw a bigger saw up any sooner than you have to and you don't want to half the weight of a bigger saw any sooner than you have to and then at the same time once you get to that point you don't want to mess around with much in between so you're looking for high power fast cutting go home early type of stuff on those jobs and I'm kind of hoping I can I can get that and with the crane too when you're making crane cuts um, at some point in time you switch to a bigger saw well with a, a modded 200 and quarter pitch I think if we don't break the chains we might be able to go a little longer before asking for another saw now I'm repeating myself but there you have it that's what this experiment is all about and obviously it's it's not meant for any kind of wood cutting or anything like that like this is a display thing and um it's it's not uh it's, it's not what they recommend from the factory or whatever or some some uh some egghead somewhere would hate it so for those guys don't do it i'm not recommending anyone do it we're just having fun here from a background of experience and we're not noobs on the saw so I think we can play around like this